life. Kind of. Weaving in and around cars like a masterful driver, Plainfield Police K-9 Echo leads his handler, Officer T.J. Peters, straight for the hidden drugs. He loves to work. He kind of turns that switch on when we get in the car. And his ability to turn it off when we get home. He's very loving and sweet dog. Watching him now, it's hard to believe that Echo was at a shelter not long ago. What brought him here? A vision and valuable training. And I was like, hey, if you send me, I think I can, I think I can make this work. It's that drive that turned an idea into an initiative. Officer Rod Pritchard was sent to a 10-week training course as part of the Plainfield Police Department's new program to adopt shelter dogs for police work. Pritchard learned how to identify good candidates looking at the dog's age, demeanor, and if they are toy-driven, as well as how to train canines and their handlers. They get overlooked and everybody says, oh, you can't do that with pound dogs, you can't do that with shelter dogs. And, you know, I, I, I just would look at them and be like, yeah, yeah, you can. I think you can. Uh, and fortunately, my agency took a, took a big swing. And then in the winter, a cold, scared, and hungry dog was brought to the Hendricks County Animal Shelter after someone found him walking along a road. Officer Pritchard says the shelter works hard to save every animal, so they asked Pritchard, who volunteers there, to stop by. And so I did. And saw everything I could want and more in this dog. He was incredible out of the gate. All right, so it's a straight line track to that light post. We're gonna see how we go. And right. just like that, Echo, a Belgian Malinois, was in training. It's reward-based, and because Echo liked cheese, he got cheese, as they worked with him on scent tracking. So we want them to know that when they're given the word to go in and search for it, that they can, they need to follow their nose, they need to, you know, they're trained systematically to wrap cars, wrap rooms, things like that, to make sure that they check everything and be sure that there's no odor of the desired odor that they get imprinted on. Hey. Echo and Officer Peters went through 320 hours of training that included catching criminals, tracking that could help find a missing person or evidence, drug detection, and obedience. Not only does this new effort save the department money, considering police dogs can cost $15,000, it also proves what canines like Echo are capable of. I think he's fantastic. Um, I think he's going to change a lot of minds, especially when you consider his background and where he came from. Uh, I think that's going to take a back seat, though, to the success that he's going to have out on the road. In fact, Echo has already sniffed out success by finding drugs that led to a felony arrest. Indicated on the odor of narcotics on a vehicle, which led to uh, another officer finding methamphetamines and fentanyl and some other narcotics. He's a partner, protector, and for Officer Peters, who's always dreamed of being a canine handler, so much more. I'd say Echo's my best friend, for sure. Yeah, we got a very close bond together. He's, he's my boy. He found purpose with the people who protect and serve and trust with a true companion. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Renee Jamison.